Our next speaker is Chang Tong from the University of Sydney, who will be discussing the Dumbo Protocol family, making asynchronous consensus practical. Thanks for the introduction, and uh, I'm Chang from Sydney. And uh, we are going to talk about our recent, uh, actually, sequence of uh, progress on asynchronous consensus. We call it the Dumbo family. And this joint work with a bunch of colleagues, and particularly my former student, Yuan, and the current student, Zhen Liang. So since this is consensus day, I think I don't need to explain the definition of consensus. And we are focusing today basically on the continuous, uh, in the conventional setting, in the Byzantine for tolerant setting, and, uh, and, the, uh, and uh, a condition, conditional, uh, continuous version, and one variant called the atomic broadcast. As usual, we require the, the conventional safety and likeness. Well, as we all know that um, most of the consensus protocols rely on some kind of timing assumption, right? depending on um, if, if they require the underlying network to deliver a message within some time t, then they are considered as synchronous or, or partially synchronous protocol. They might be okay in the conventional uh, data center setting, but now we are talking about deploying consensus on the open internet. Well, the internet the nodes might be across the globe, right? And in general, it might be too optimistic to assume the open internet to be synchronous. And what's worse is that actually it's shown in, in the literature that if we do denial of service attack on a small number of nodes, many, um, many synchronous uh, protocols will simply get stuck. And essentially it means they, they're gonna lose like the critical liveness property. So this call for a more robust uh, protocol, uh, asynchronous protocol that does not rely on any timing assumption. Unfortunately, um, most of the deployed uh, consensus are not asynchronous. While I, I, don't, I think it is not that they don't want to deploy uh, asynchronous consensus simply because it's complicated. <laughs> Well, the, the, the famous FLB impossibility already hinted a little, right? Like no deterministic asynchronous protocol uh, can ever exist. So over the years, people spend a lot of efforts designing all kinds of randomized protocol trying to circumvent the impossibility. But those classical protocols are mostly with very high complexity and very, very, very few of them has ever been implemented until very recently, because we are now talking about deploying consensus in the open internet. People to start to seriously wonder can asynchronous consensus ever be practical? And probably one of the most visible results is a uh, Honey Badger BFT, they optimize a classical uh, protocol and uh, show implementation. Well, we give a more affirmative answer to this question, and, but, but we do need uh, some efforts. So our, the evolving of the Dumbo protocol starts starts from uh, Honey Badger, actually. But one of the critical, uh, one of the, the, the source of inspiration actually come from uh, the, uh, a very seminal result from Cachinado back to like 20 years ago. It, they formulated a nice, very nice uh, notion called the multi-valued validated Bazani agreement uh, called MVBA. So in, our, in last TCS, we, uh, the protocol we call Dumbo Classic, we kind of uh, remove the major obstacle, a uh, major bottleneck in Honey Badger that we can preserve their like optimal linear uh, per transaction communication. But at the same time, we don't need to run a lot of randomized protocols. Basically, we just need to get the best of both of Caching at all and Honey Badger. Uh, and at, at similar time, we also improve the, uh, the cr critical component of MVP itself. Then we move uh, more ahead to try to bring down other complexity as well. So in the, in the recent work of speeding Dumbo, we also bring the message complexity to optimal. Now we essentially have all the complexity asymptotically optimal. So we also strive to compress the com concrete number of runs, uh, it, which turns out to be actually a highly non-trivial task. We kind of bring down the number of runs from a, a few dozen to like one dozen. And we are still not happy enough and we, we continued exploration in, in another recent work we call number NG. We try to make the protocol structure kind of seamless in, in the sense that we, we want to eliminate all the idle moment like waiting or we, without any progressing. So, so in this way, we can harvest essentially all the available bandwidth. And the last but not least, with all those better components at hand, we actually designed um, a general framework um, to le leverage those uh, better components, we are trying to bridge the gap between the asynchronous consensus and the deterministic counterpart. So obviously I, I cannot explain all those results unless I want to explain nothing. And uh, so I will just spend one slide 
to illustrate like the design methodology inspiration from the earlier Dumbo protocols and then explain a little bit of, of the, the general uh, framework. In order to construct the asynchronous atomic broadcast or consensus, uh, there's a common uh, intermediate abstraction called the asynchronous common subset. Essentially, it's like everyone gonna output a subset of values. Uh, there are different paths of constructing. One, one, most well, one of the well-known result uh, paths actually is uh, uh, this, uh, proposed by Kasha et al using MVB and everyone gonna have a vector of inputs, right? Uh, of course, you might also be using MVB directly to construct atomic broadcasts, but now uh, essentially like have a one output, one transaction per, per block. Then doing this, obviously you're gonna lose the benefit as in honey Badger, you cannot do the batch and you cannot get the linear uh, amortized communication. Well, actually there's even, uh, there were even more ancient uh, ideas like using a bunch of a binary agreement. Here, ABA means a, a binary agreement. And uh, interestingly, Heine Badger BFT actually explicitly chose this path because they, they consider MVB might incur potential communication blow up when the batch size is large. And uh, interestingly, actually, in our Dumbo classical um, protocol, we show if we do the reduction to MVB more carefully, even if the MVB protocol might have a slightly higher communication, but the resulting atomic broadcast actually will be strictly better than Honey Badger. And also, we also open the box app of uh, MVB, and uh, in, at least in theory, we show the communication blow up might not be necessary. So the real takeaway for the, the these two earlier Dumbo protocols is that actually the, the elegant notion formulated, formulated by Cachado, this MVB might be still be the right notion, the right way to construct practical asynchronous consensus. And actually the experimental evaluation clearly justifies the, the advantage of, of Dumbo over Honey Badger. So then what's next? Uh, we, are much, we get a protocol much better than Honey Badger. Uh, are we done now? Well, unfortunately not. If we look at the just the basic latency alone. So here, the uh, Dumbo is indeed much better than Honey Badger. But if we compare to the deterministic counterpart, for example, hot stuff, then the, the situation becomes dramatically different. So basically, we are facing uh, essentially a liveness latency dilemma, right? Like deterministic protocols are, protocols are usually very fast because just a few rounds, but they don't have liveness uh, because of the FLP. Well, Randomized protocols are robust, but still quite slow. So that's basically the situation we are facing now. So in the next few minutes, I'm trying to answer <laughs> and, uh, the following question. Can we design an asynchronous protocol that could be as fast as the state-of-the-art deterministic protocol? This brings out to another no nice notion uh, of optimistic asynchronous consensus. Well, the basic idea is very intuitive. First, and I mean, in the usual case, we run the fast deterministic protocol as a fast lane. When things happen, then we run an asynchronous flowback. And again, this, this, this notion actually was proposed many years back and the Christian, again, played a vital role in this, uh, this line of work. But unfortunately, the asynchronous flowback might not be as simple as it looks. So at least in, you need to finish two basic phases. The first, when everybody wants to fall back, right? They need to decide where to fall back. I, for example, I might be at block 10 while Chris, Christian already at block 100. We need to determine which block we're gonna agree on. So this simple, a single procedure alone already hints us this pace synchronization phase might already need a multi-valued uh, asynchronous consensus, which might incur exponential communication. And next phase is we, we need to make real progress running some asynchronous protocol. And fortunately, the two elegant work before leveraged again that the critical component of um, MVBA uh, successfully realized this functionality. But there's a catch. Still, MVBAs are quite complicated. It, despite the, the um, asymptotic improvement, but the concrete efficiency is still bad. So if we just run MVB directly as the pace synchronization, so the over, because it's much slower than the fast lane. So the overall protocol is still much slower, even if the network might be stable for, for, for quite some time. So that, that's the base, then basically we need a much, uh, much lighter pace synchronization. Of course, we also need the, the better pessimistic pass and maybe we even want to minimize the best pessimistic pass. So for this reason, we propose a new practical framework we call Volt Dumbo Transformer. 
uh, it's a very long name. And so the key observation is that we actually provide a new abstraction of the fast lane uh, we call Bolt, which is a handicapped version, which is not a full, even not even a full-fledged uh, consensus protocol. It only requires something called notarizability, which basically like every block contains a certificate or something. It's very easy to get, but interestingly, this is going to prepare us to use the cheapest possible pace synchronization, which we call transformer. But if you think about it for, for 10 seconds, what could be the conceptually minimal asynchronous agreement? And uh, since this is a generic uh, framework, actually the illustration is going to be very simple. It's highly modular, but a few notes I uh, would like to to, to give so since both is not a is a handicapped version of a, a atomic broadcast right it can be really achieved very easily by basically sequ sequentially running multicast or of course with some proofs while interestingly this simple notarizability already prepared us in the way that everyone's progress will not be too far away so in this way we really can use the simplest possible probably many of you already got the answer like 10 seconds ago, the simplest possible asynchronous agreement protocol, which is binary agreement. And since it is a generic uh, framework, right? So there are a bunch of benefits. So of course, first we can use the best instantiation for every, every component. So for example, immediately we're gonna inherit the nice property of linear uh, communication per transaction. And of, of course, uh, even though our pessimistic path is called Dumbo, we don't have to use Dumbo, right? We, we might even use the better a version like Dumbo NG or, or a speeding Dumbo. And since this protocol is highly modular, actually we can also easily uh, do something like we try to minimize the use of pessimistic pass. Basically, we only use pessimistic, pessimistic pass until we have to use it. What does that mean? Whenever we see any progress in pace synchronization, we're gonna directly skip the pessimistic pass and switch to the fast lane direct. And interestingly, actually, there's a concurrent work, uh, Dito, I think uh, Lefteros were going to be presenting like in one minute or, or, or two. So they, they have a, they break the box, actually. They, they have a concrete construction, so we can share different type of trade-offs. Uh, we did extensive experiments, and the um, uh, first thing to note is uh, our machine is, uh, is not so fancy. It's a very normal machine. As a, as a poor academic, we cannot afford like a very fancy machine for experiments. But still, the experimental result kind of uh, very, uh, as show, mostly shows as, as what we expected. And even in the best case, we always intentionally run the transformer once in a while, try to simulate the, the, the network of fluctuation. So here, as we clearly see, the, the green lines are dumbbells, and uh, the, the yellow ones are the BDT, and both dumbbell transformer, and the, and the actual another benchmark is uh, hot stuff. So clearly, the latency is close to hot stuff. And we also done uh, we also done some very interesting experiment, which kind of mimics a very very bad scenario. Basically, we, we intentionally mute uh, one third of the machine. But what's what's more is that we also intentionally trigger pace synchronization for every single crash node. So it's, I mean, in reality, once you once you meet a, a good leader, you 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 might not need to switch again. Right? But we just try to see the best case and uh, the, the the very bad situation. And still, we we can see clearly that. Uh, this, the this capacity line kind of demonstrated in the middle between Dumbo and the uh, hot stuff. And here, actually, the real performance hot stuff should be somewhere here because in the experiment uh, we only do the we only did the the stable leader. Less when when the, we do the leader uh, rotation with a one third of crash, the, obviously the latency is going to be higher. And uh, we also did the basic latency and the overhead. And probably I'm going to skip. And uh, we also uh, have the throughput by varying, uh, varying or the throughput, uh, the, the batch size for the throughput. And also, Leon, Leon, we also show have a different instantiations for the fast lane, showing different kind of uh, interesting, uh, interesting performance. And there are many more experimental and numerical analysis in the paper. If you are interested, you can check there. So let me quickly wrap up. And uh, we walked a long way for asynchronous consensus from the jungle. And uh, now the situation now is really much, much better than before. And I, I believe we are, we are really in the, in the close to the, the actual deployment. And the one, one reflection is that it seems like the seemingly simple broadcast and agree, and agree structure actually have a lot of redundancy. We, we can simplify it in many, many, in, in several, even surprisingly different ways. 
And of course, there are many remaining questions, right? Like since we are now really in the edge, what would be the best trade-off among the like various different uh, metrics like communication and runs? And theoretically, I believe the low bounds are not tight yet. And of course, can we have an asynchronous protocol and scale to thousands or even more nodes? So that, that's it. Uh, thank you.